Grand Rising Collective. This is your girl, Iris. Um, welcome to my channel, Womb Alchemist. I am the Womb Alchemist, and you all are alchemists in your own right as well, okay? Um, alchemy just means that you are transmuting energy, nothing from something, or you're taking something that you don't necessarily want, and you're turning in, it into something that you do want, okay? So, yeah, no matter what people throw at you, no matter what life throws at you, you can always transmute it into something that you can use for your own benefit, for your own good, okay? Um, welcome to my channel if you are new, um, for subscribers new and old, hi, how are you doing? I hope you're doing well. Um, if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. Um, but for everyone, please like, share, comment. Um, let me know if the readings are resonating with you, okay? Um, that would help me out a lot. Okay, so without further ado, let's get started. Okay, we got the four of wands coming out here. Okay, I feel like there's somebody's in a contract. Okay, somebody's in a contract and they have to, uh, you know, tell the truth about something, okay? With the, well, okay, see the Ace of Swords right here? Isn't that crazy? Ace of Swords and Justice. Somebody's not being honest about something, okay? And your guides want you to be the truth teller, the King of Swords, okay? The King of Swords, no matter what the situation is, okay? If he was in the wrong, if he was in the right... Um, no matter what it is, he always tells the truth, okay? And your contract, okay, whatever you signed up here to do on earth is calling for you to tell the truth, and that is fair and balanced, okay? You have to bring justice to a situation that you're in, and your guides are definitely watching you, okay? So this contract is a divine contract, and um, you got the justice, the hierophant, the king of swords out here, okay? Like, they, they're they on you. If you're not telling the truth about something, they're on you, okay? Uh, you might be sad in regret, grief, loss, okay? Five of Cups is here um, about something. You, you need to be honest about something, all right? It, it's keeping you from moving forward, whatever... Um, truth that you're not telling is keeping you from moving forward and the truth shall set you free that's what i feel like saying okay because right now there's a lot of conflict in your life okay whether it be um from other people or internal conflict that you're going through uh there's there's i really feel like it's both you're going through a lot of conflict right now a lot of drama um unhappiness sadness unnecessarily Okay, because your guides want you to move forward successfully, but uh, you being able to tr tell the truth is an obstacle to you with the chariot here. Okay, interesting. Okay, this fell on the floor. Uh, this is the death in reverse. So you're in a stalemate, stagnant type of energy. Okay, you might be on the verge of transformation but you're but you're not taking that step to transform to change to be a truth teller for whatever reason you might feel embarrassed ashamed okay of something that you've done um some some lies that you've told or half truths whatever okay but this needs to be balanced out with the 6 of pentacles here okay yeah, and you need to do it, you need to do it quickly, okay? I feel like that's, what's, that's what they're saying with the Knight of Wands, okay? Or maybe you need to tell the truth about being reckless sexually, okay? About making some quick decisions that, um, yeah, that maybe you shouldn't have made. Maybe you hurt somebody. Okay, and I feel like you've caused, you've caused, um, or you're angry. You have some anger inside of you. That's what I'm getting. It's like you have anger inside of you, um, and it manifests as like you being sexually reckless, um, not being honest, 
okay? But your guys want you to know that it's time to heal right now, okay? You're avoiding this this transformation, death card in reverse. You're avoiding, um, you know, it's like your guides have to pull teeth and, and nails and whatever. It's like they have to like force you into this transformation because it's part of your contract. Oh my God. Okay. So you're under contract right now with your spirit guides. Okay. And their job is to help you to transform, to be your higher self, but you're avoiding it like crazy right now. Okay. You might be experiencing like really bad karma, a lot of obstacles. Okay. The people around you may be turning on you. You might be finding out things. Um, about the people around you, places, people, things um, that are like towers, you know, like really um, like eye opening things. And it might feel really harsh and negative, um, but your spirit guides are showing you that it's, it's actually very positive. Your spirit guides are showing you the life that you've created by being in this uh, Knight of Wands energy, carrying this anger, this sexual recklessness. Um, okay, I feel like my guides want to tell you that uh, my guides are your guides, both actually, I'm speaking to both, but um, they want to tell you that your sacral chakra is being affected Okay, so you might need to do some sacral chakra work to balance out your sexual energy and your your masculinity and your femininity are out of out of balance right now. So you need to bring balance to that chakra. Um, there's a lot of information on Google and stuff. Okay, but the point here is to heal. There's probably other chakras that need to heal as well, but I, I really feel like um, your sacral chakra is definitely being afflicted at this time. Okay. Wow. So this eight of cups, okay, which represents moving on is in the reverse. That means that you're not moving on from a situation, from a relationship that you're in right now. Okay. It landed, this eight of cups landed on the night of wands. So whatever relationship you're in right now could be friendship, could be like a, a romantic relationship that you're not moving away from, that you're staying in is like causing you to experience these things that I feel like <sighs> I'm not gonna say that they're not in your character but I feel like something is a bad influence on you yeah I feel like this relationship is a bad influence on you and your spirit guides are watching it happen here and they want you to move away but for some reason you're you're staying in this situation where you know uh like somebody or something your environment someone in your environment or your environment itself is bringing out the worst in you okay it, it's causing you to be angry it's causing you to have hate even wow i feel like you're in a, a, a low vibration and it could be influenced by whatever situation you're in right now and lo and behold the devil comes out yeah so wow whatever your situation whatever situation you're in right now whatever relationship um and you might have a lot of relationships at this moment however the one that's most closest to you okay i'm thinking it's a romantic relationship the one that you're the somebody that you're around the most okay is bringing this devil out of you okay you might have some bad habits addictions uh, negative behaviors, some obsessions, mental health issues, okay? You might even be lashing out at people around you. You might be hurting the people around you, okay? You might be taking bad advice, okay? Not only from this partnership that you're in, but also from like other people around you. I feel like you're surrounded by karmic influences who are bringing your energy down, Okay, I'm getting that this even might be an actual entity attachment here. Like there might be an entity attached to you that is bringing you to these people that are attracting you to people who are going to keep you in a low vibrational state. Okay, because this entity wants to keep feeding off of you. So it doesn't, it, it doesn't want you to um, elevate in any way. 
okay whatever negative emotions are coming up for you at this time this entity is definitely feeding off of it and, in, and enjoying it like this is how this entity survives literally i have the hierophant and the devil here the hierophant represents god and the devil here you have a choice oh my god yo this is crazy look at this this is what i'm looking at right now shit Yo, this is what I'm looking at right now. Okay, this is how the cards ended up here. Okay. I hope you guys can see this because this is just, I, I love it when spirit does this, to be honest. Okay, so you have the, the, um, the chariot here moving forward, moving on right next to the, um, the Hierophant, which represents God. Then you have the devil here, okay, next to the Eight of Cups in reverse, which is not moving on, okay? So the this entity or whatever, you're being pulled in two different directions. Oh my gosh, you're being pulled in two different directions. It's like a tug of war right now, okay? You have God here who's wanting you to move forward in in one direction and then you have the devil here who's trying to keep you where you are wow oh my god i'm getting chills that's crazy so you have you're at a crossroads you have a decision to make okay this two of cups could even represent bringing two halves of yourself together okay you need to make peace you see how um it's a little bit blurry, but you see how uh, in the two of cups here, it's two people and they're sharing their cups. But in the middle is this, um, uh, you know, the serpents, two serpents slithering uh, crisscross each other going up. OK, so that represents Kundalini energy. All right. You are in the midst of a rebirth. You are in the midst of igniting this soul contract okay you are wow this is this is crazy i feel i feel like i'm being enlightened at this moment you are being enlightened okay you are going through a dark night of the soul okay this is where a dark night of the soul is where you're you are purging okay you're you're purging or you're getting ready to purge everything that's not serving you, your higher self is pulling you up, but your lower self is pulling you down. And it's you who needs to make the decision, who you, what, what entity you wanna feed. You can feed the God in yourself here with the Hierophant. You can feed the devil in yourself here as well, okay? Either way, it's your choice. However, and, and there's no judgment, okay? I understand energy. That's why I'm not judging. There needs to be a devil for there to be a god, and there needs to be a god for there to be a devil, okay? I'm not judging any of these energies. However, what I will say is with this four of wands here, okay, this represents a contract, okay? It can represent marriage, celebration, all of this stuff too, but four of wands represents a contract. So does the Hierophant, okay? You came here on earth to fulfill something, okay? And it's this, you, you came here to learn something, and it's this king of swords, okay? So this king of swords, he's very intelligent, okay? He's very smart, and I feel, though, at this moment, there are people around you, your environment, friends, this relationship that you're in, are playing, that are playing on your emotions, Okay, they they see that you're at this crossroads and maybe you're feeding the devil a little bit more. And this is allowing you to be vulnerable to these people. So what they're doing is uh, they're seeing your your um, shortcomings. They see your shortcomings and your inability to walk in and change, walk into your godhood. So what they're doing is they're using this against you to keep you low vibrational. Okay, the fact that you don't want to tell the truth or you don't want to be a truthful person is allowing them to use you, okay, in, in different ways. I, I, I'm not sure in what way, but um, 
this is this is just the message that I'm getting like you are being used right now because people can see in your environment people can see that um, you you have a you have a vulnerability a weakness here okay somebody is yeah somebody's using this against you okay it's the entity it's this entity attachment that you have that it's it's using it against you okay by way of the people around you okay so you're being held back because you don't want to speak the truth or you don't want to live out your truth so you could be even like be getting blackmailed okay in some way shape or form Okay, but spirit here is telling you that you need to move on. You need to walk in your truth no matter what it is because that is going to be the first step in your healing journey because right now you're at a stalemate. You're, you're in stagnation and don't nothing alive live in stagnation, okay? Only death lives in stagnation, honestly, okay? So you, you, you have to decide if you want to live or die. Not in the literal sense, but your soul is being drained of its energy at this moment. Okay, you're, you're getting lower. Your vibration is lowering and lowering and lowering the longer you stay um, in this situation. Okay, you have the Empress here. I feel like you are the Empress. Okay, I feel like this energy is coming up for you, whether you're male or female. The Empress represents somebody who's who's um who's birthing oh my gosh what they're what they're saying is that you are birthing yourself okay the empress is a very fertile beautiful energy okay very creative sacral chakra is balanced okay you see the venus here okay you might have libra or taurus in your chart um, but she represents the divine feminine and what the guides are saying is that you need to birth this um this new person that's within you okay this person wants to come out they want to walk the path that they are in contract in okay this chariot this this new beginning new start is here for you but you need to do the work okay sometimes yo i just i just gave birth to a child okay it's hard it's scary i definitely stalled <laughs> my labor okay because it was painful it's extremely painful to birth another human it doesn't have to be that way okay i will say that um that there's pain-free births however if you haven't um if your mind is in a certain frequency then you won't be able to flow with it okay the only reason why it's birth is painful and changing and transformation is painful is because of the ideas that we have in our mind our mind um connects to our body right and we create that pain birth is only painful labor is only painful because we expect it to be okay internal reality begets our external reality all right so you have you the guides are telling you that you need to birth Okay, this new, the, let allow this new um, entity to come forth because this entity is going to be so creative, okay, handsome, beautiful, uh, nurture, you need to nurture this entity that wants to spring forth from you, okay? Um, like I said, whether you're male or female, this is about birthing, uh, uh, manifesting okay a new you a new entity okay also with this uh five of swords to the empress i feel like i feel like you need to be honest with someone okay i feel like there was some mind games that you played okay there were some mind games that you played with this empress somebody you were attached to in the past with this four of wands she might be part of the contract okay spirit usually teaches its lessons through other people okay so this might be a, a soulmate of yours your wife um a, a girlfriend somebody you were connected to okay whether you're male or female somebody you were connected to or you're supposed to be with 
okay, with the uh, Four of Wands. Uh, yeah, you played mind games with this person, or you did something that was unfair, or this, or you feel defeated when it comes to this person. Okay, you feel defeated, and and that's what's bringing your stagnation about because you need to speak some some type of truth to this person. Okay, the Five of Swords actually came out with the Three of Swords at the bottom. Uh, somebody's heartbroken. You might have broken this uh, Empress's heart. Uh, by playing these mind games here with the five of swords or your heart is broken because you feel defeated okay but either way there's some type of uh truth that needs to come out okay when it comes to this empress wow judgment yeah you might be under judgment for this that's what i feel yeah you're in this low vibration energy because um you're under judgment spiritually okay in the spiritual realm your guides are uh you know stopping anything good from coming your way until you fix this because our guides aren't doing this to be evil to us but they need us they made a promise to us before our souls came down to this earth they promised us that they would do everything in their power to help us fulfill the contract that we agreed to because uh bad things happen when we don't fill contracts we're gonna have to come back now it's not bad okay i'm not trying to be spooky or anything like that however you're gonna have to come back and fulfill this contract at some point okay you don't want to they don't want you to have to come back down to earth they want you to learn a new lesson okay but until this lesson is learned you will have to repeat it okay and so judgment here all right so they need you to make a decision to make things right okay um with this empress here all right because this low vibrational energy is not serving you it's just keeping you stagnant here okay um you got the nine of pentacles what's the nine of pentacles here oh queen of cups okay so this empress or this this counterpart of yours that's part of your contract okay she's she's kind intuitive I, I feel like honestly whatever truth that needs to be spoken okay you might need to tell her that you see her in this queen of cups energy you might be in love with her or attracted to her in some way but i'm feeling like because she's coming out as the queen of cups you might be attract um in love with her okay um she's coming out as independent financially stable grounded okay so maybe these are some of the things that you need to tell her in the past maybe you have gaslighted her with this five of swords into believing that she wasn't kind generous um you know genuine okay and i feel like maybe that was the energy she was giving to you but for some reason you played games here okay with this five of swords you played games you played mind games with her yeah ace of swords i'm telling the truth okay and you also need to tell the truth all right because something um and you see her as this star okay you see her as somebody who's healed um grounded doing their thing okay and doing it while she's kind and nice and um nurturing you know, so you need to bring, you need to tell her the truth, a new, a new, you need to have a new beginning of honesty and truth, okay? You need to start fresh uh, with her. Yeah, Emperor. Sorry, that was my mom. Um, yeah, you're coming out as this emperor here, or you're about to be. Okay, because you you and her were probably married. Okay, you're coming out as the emperor and empress here. Um, so your guides want you to be truthful about something that has to do with this marriage. Okay, they need you to have a, a new beginning, a fresh beginning in, in being an honest person. Be grounded in your truth. Okay, you also need to bring... bring clarity to a situation with this empress okay because what's waiting for you is being in this emperor energy i feel like right now you're not too much in control of what's going on in your life 
But this emperor here, he is in control. Okay, he's the boss. He's the head honcho. He is in control of his life. He's a good husband, a good father. Um, he, had, he brings structure, discipline to um, situations. So you need to embody this energy okay because right now you're that you're coming out as the knight of wands somebody who's reckless okay impulsive um you know driven by by sexual by their by their sexual nature okay and that's bringing you a lot of conflict okay a lot of drama that's brought you a lot of drama and conflict in your life it hasn't been serving you but this emperor energy okay with the clarity um, is is the direction that your guides want you to go in that's why you have you have two options yeah because you're going to be trapped okay hangman to the five of pentacles you're going to be trapped in this low vibrational um, energy you might even be experiencing financial hardships karma okay um just like yeah just like low vibrational energy okay you're gonna be trapped in that energy until you see things differently okay um you might even see things you might okay what i'm getting is that you're in this energy this five of pentacles energy which you're having like financial troubles or you're feeling uh low vibrational you're feeling left out neglected um and you're realizing with this hangman why it is that you that you feel that's way you're you you yourself are coming to this realization and this reading is just confirmation for you okay you realize why things aren't going well in your life and it has to do with this empress and you deciding to uh play some type of mind games with her gaslighting her um holding back your love um uh, this imbalance it, you cause an imbalance in this um, in this situation so there there's a, uh, an apology that needs to happen okay you might even have a child with her but definitely an apology that has to happen with this uh, queen of swords because the empress your your past love is coming out as the queen of swords she might have learned how to put up boundaries okay she's being more logical in this situation okay also i feel like she's also enlightened to what's going on here too all right and because of that she's putting up boundaries and she's only expecting truth from you okay you and her when you when you uh raise your vibration you and her are going to be an energetic match here okay because they want you to be the king of wands i mean sorry the king of swords so that you can be an energetic match with the queen of swords here okay because she don't play around either the king and queen of swords don't play around they're very respected but they have high bound they have really high standards and high boundaries and they expect the truth out of the people that are around them okay they're not playing any games okay and this page of cups is telling me that there needs to be an apology it's right next to the five of swords okay so yeah like you were playing mind games with this person gaslighting manipulating um just just in a, in a low vibrational energy with this person. And I feel like it's for no, like this person really didn't do anything to you to deserve that energy. I'm not saying anything that this person did to you. Okay. So there needs, there, there's an apology that needs to happen <clears throat> for you to be able to move forward. Okay. Cause, um, yeah, you might've invested a lot in this Empress okay and she might have invested a lot in you um with this seven of pentacles but right now okay um but right now you guys are you're playing the waiting game um this is just a side note okay i feel like somebody's pregnant and use spell work to do it okay that's just with the magician here somebody used spell work to get pregnant that's just i don't know if that makes sense to you um but but yeah you're trying to you're also trying to manifest but you're not putting in any work okay that's what the seven of pentacles to the magician is telling me you're just trying to sit there and manifest maybe you want this empress back or you want a new beginning with her <laughs> but um just 
you know thinking about it in your mind is not going to yeah the lovers just thinking about it in your mind is not going to like make it happen okay because there's a change that needs to happen here there needs to be action okay you uh have two choices oh my god that's why the lovers are out here you have two choices here because the lovers can mean actual lovers which i think in this situation it does too the empress is probably your soulmate okay that you made this contract with here on earth but this the lovers also represents uh, a choice that needs that needs to be made here and um the choice is you either tell the truth with the knight of uh swords here you either tell the truth or you decide not to in which case you choose to stay in a low vibrational energy and there's no moving on you know they're like you're you're staying in stagnant you're deciding to stay in stagnant energy um whereas you telling you you being able to move forward is predicated upon you being able to tell the truth the whole truth and nothing but the truth okay yeah oh my gosh so your guides are giving you this opportunity okay with the page of pentacles and the uh two of, of swords here you're at a crossroads all right you have a decision to make and it might be a really i feel like it's a really hard decision i don't with this devil here here i feel like some really <laughs> bad things went on um and it might be really hard for you to be honest and that's why uh the two of swords is out here yeah and and so she has the swords here covering her heart and so you might not be honest with what's in your heart but with the page of pentacles here your guides are asking you to take this opportunity to be honest because i feel like it's like a now or never type of energy i feel like something was your last chance okay i mean there's never really a, a last chance but um because you you're you you know we're here we're always here to learn and grow and i feel like um you know at, at any point in your lifetime you can make that decision to learn or grow but they're really emphasizing this point in your life okay at whatever time that you find this video this point in your life is very crucial okay so you got the seven of cups here to the ten of cups in reverse i don't know how these uh, cards be coming up in reverse because I make it a point to put all of these cards in the upright but uh, seven of cups tells me that you are like there's some type of confusion okay about about a marriage you might I feel like you're in a marriage right now but it's not happy okay that might be what it, this this eight of cups you're not moving away from uh you know a commitment that you're in a marriage commitment that is unhappy okay because there's been some confusion and honestly i feel like with that magician that came out earlier there was some foul play okay somebody is playing in your energy all right causing you to be confused um keeping you in low vibration so that you don't uh come out of this unhappy marriage and you know you're unhappy okay but um but for some reason, you, you, uh, the truth is too much for you to bear. So you'd rather stay in a, in a low vibration. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. Okay, you need to bring balance. Okay. Um, also, I feel like you're juggling a lot. Yeah, with the Eight of Pentacles here, you're juggling a lot. Okay, you're, maybe you're using work to distract you um or you you yeah you're you're taking on a lot right now in order to distract you from the fact that you need that you need to move forward from whatever situation you're in you're using distractions yep with the seven of cups too okay your dreams might be relevant here uh you might be you might be having uh dreams that show you the right path okay um just pay attention to your dreams is what i feel like saying because you're you, your guides are sending you messages through your dream state okay um but yeah this they want you to go from being in a fog and a daze being confused to balancing out your emotions okay so that you can make 
good decisions because because you haven't been able to make good decisions while a bunch of cars just came out here okay the the distractions oh wow your friends your karmic friends are keeping you in this state somebody okay you got the three of cups to the four of pentacles to the knight of cups here somebody people around you okay i feel like it's multiple people but the people around you are trying to hold you in this low vibrational state so that you don't go bring your love to this empress there are people around you who are discouraging you it could be family friends lovers whatever but they're trying to distract you giving you bad advice being in your ear um holding you back from taking your love nine of cups back to this empress okay but it's there you want to go back you want to move forward okay they're distracting you some way somehow uh, i feel like they're in your ear wow that's crazy yeah this uh three of pentacles here it's a plan oh wow with the magician okay people people are definitely playing in your energy they're manipulating you there are people manipulating you because uh three or more i was gonna say two or more i feel like two or more people are planning to keep you where you are okay they want to manipulate you into keeping you where you are so you don't go to this empress i don't know what what their motivation is okay i don't i don't know why people you okay they just told me you being in your low energy is benefiting them there's something that you're giving these people that you're doing for these people um while you're in this low vibrational energy while you're away from this empress that benefits them in some way shape or form okay but with this magician here they're definitely manipulating you they might be really good at talking really good at speaking really good at mind games okay you could be too but i feel like you definitely met your match when it comes to these people and you you might have attracted these people because like i said you have an entity attachment to you this devil card and this devil card might be using these people, okay, to keep you in this low vibrational energy, all right? So you might be somebody who, you know, with this five of swords, you might be good at playing mind games, but these people are better. These people are better and they're collaborating together too, behind your back or in, or in front of you. I don't know if you know or not, but these people are definitely collaborating Okay, I just saw the Ten of Pentacles here. Okay, wow. Ten of Swords. You could be seeing the numbers 10, 10. Okay, I just saw Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Swords. They might know that when you're with this Empress, okay, you're going to be in this Ten of Swords energy. They don't want you in this, I mean, I said Ten of Swords, um, Ten of Pentacles, which is like really uh, high vibrational energy, but also stability, financial wealth okay family legacy they might see that um that this empress might be the key to that for you but you see this three three of pentacles here to the ten of swords these people are planning to stab you in the back if they already have it okay they they want you to have this bad ending um with this empress Okay, and I'm, I'm talking a group of people like it's the three of cups, three of pentacles. It might even be up to six people or more, but they definitely um, are like talking about you and how to keep you away from this empress and keep you in this vibe, 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 high vibrational energy. Ten of sword, ten of pentacles to the um, to the six of pentacles the universe wants to give you this large lump sum of money they want to give you this contract i'm looking at this contract you okay this empress is attached to this ten of pentacles which is generational wealth okay a large lump sum of money okay and it's part of your contract here and the universe wants to give you this this part of your contract but some things have to be balanced out 
okay right now there's an imbalance that's going on because you are not you are not speaking the truth okay you're in love with this empress but you're you're not taking your love to her because you have karmics in your ear okay these people are opportunists i'm the page of pentacles landed on the three of pentacles these people are opportunists and for some reason you being in a low vibrational state is bringing them some type of opportunity okay king of cups you need to learn to be emotionally intelligent okay vulnerable all right you need to be honest about uh you having love for this empress because keeping you away from uh finishing out your contract here and keeping you away from your ten of pentacles okay finish this cycle literally oh my god like spirit okay finish this cycle and you will you there will be happiness and something is going to be illuminated to you soon okay if not already this this reading is the illumination okay but definitely uh you're somebody who might have a big ego as well your ego could definitely have a reason uh, uh be uh um your ego could definitely be in the way of you being able to be honest with this empress as well and that's what's holding you back is your ego but um definitely when you close out this cycle uh nothing but happiness too but also you need to transform there needs to be a transformation so you're going through whether you know it or not you're probably going through a transformation right now but your guides need to need you to be intentional about it okay you need to be active in your own transformation wow justice with the ten of wands something about bringing justice to the situation is very hard for you Okay, it's becoming burdensome, but the scales are going to tip the way that they're going to tip. Okay, no matter what, they're going to. So, the harder it is, so the more weight is on one side, the more weight has to come on the other side, if you get what I'm saying. So, one of the scales might be tipped all the way to the left, where, where, well, the, the, okay, sorry about that, my um, battery died, but, um, an equal amount of weight has to be put on the opposite scale in order for things to be balanced out okay so um yeah this this uh karma that you're receiving it might be a lot for you at this moment but um it's because things are really unbalanced right now so the more that you wait and the more destruction that happens the other side has to be balanced which is going to just add more weight to you okay if you understand what i'm saying it's spiritual law okay spiritual law um okay with this page of wands to the page of pentacles i feel like um good news good news is coming your way however it's coming very slowly because of the stagnation okay um with the moon at the bottom something is is going to be illuminated to you some secrets okay but but definitely good news is on the way but i also feel like um this transformation is is going to happen slowly but surely okay something to do with your um, intuition or your subconscious here with the moon okay you subconsciously you feel that um you like this page of wands is giving me somebody who's insecure okay somebody who has some insecurities who doesn't feel that they are um, a king of wands okay somebody who's stuck in this page of wands you might have some immaturity that you need to work on you might um, feel like you're lacking in some areas of your life you need to address it it might take some time but that needs to be addressed because your subconscious is what um, is what really manifests in, in your reality okay um, so your subconscious mind needs to be addressed with this moon here at the bottom of the deck um, and over time, you will be able to heal this part of yourselves that 
this part of yourself that has been traumatized yeah oh i feel like child uh you might even have child wounds okay from from oh wow so for a long time you've been dealing with childhood trauma okay subconsciously there are things that happened in your childhood uh, a long time ago that you need to address i feel like you're somebody who's been knocked down a lot okay and you don't know why like you don't know why you keep getting into situations where you keep getting knocked down you keep getting hurt um but and it's, and it's been happening for a really long time okay it's some unaddressed child wounds here okay stuff that has happened to you a long time ago that you need to address because uh you have some fears you have some fears that you need to address as well that have been with you for a very long time okay and your guys need you to address that they need you yeah so you being strong and uh and courageous about your healing is going to change things for you for the better okay yeah so with this i put the strength card on the emperor here wow um so so your guys need you to be strong at this time okay and address those those traumas that you've been dealing with for a lot of your life Okay, yeah, you might be somebody who has uh, have had terrible endings, okay, who, that have left you confused, especially in relationships. You've invested, you've invested so much in, in relationships that you've been in, romantic or otherwise. You felt like you've been kind, you've been humble, you've been sweet, but all you got was people stabbing you in your back. Or you could, you could feel like you have really bad endings in relationships. Okay, and it leaves you confused and hurt. Okay, yeah, with this uh, Nine of Wands, you feel uh, like you can't trust anybody. Okay, it's actually affecting your mental health and you feel paranoid when you're in relationships. You're not able to feel free and love freely, give freely. You feel like somebody's always has like an agenda. Okay, yeah, but your guides want you to work on being this King of Cups. Okay, opening up your heart. You might need to do heart chakra work. Okay, because your heart is very guarded here. Yeah, you might even feel like the world is against you. That's what I'm getting with this two of wands. You might feel like the world is against you, like you can't ever win. Or it's not possible for you. But um, it's because there, there's the, a lack of healing, a lack of work being done okay to actually heal from these situations okay and the way that you do that is you change your behaviors you have to be a different person to bring a different outcome okay you you've had a really hard past okay a really hard childhood is what i'm getting okay a lot of burdens that you're carrying from your childhood from your past okay your innocence was taken at a really young age and it's been a burden to you ever since and you've just been racking up these these karmic burdens okay on your back okay i feel like wow i feel the weight of it on my shoulders honestly with this um uh ten of wands to the uh six of cups wow that's a, that's a lot of weight and your guys want you to drop it it's time to drop that weight okay it's time to balance out your energy yeah you have a lot of fears Wow, literally, I got the moon card and then the night nine of swords here. You have a lot of fear, anxiety. You, you're not able to sleep. You might have bad dreams. I feel like at night, something happens at night. You can't sleep. You have bad dreams. You have night terrors, nightmares. Okay, you might even be looking up at the moon, wishing, hoping, praying that something changes in your life. Okay, you're very burdened very burdened uh maybe about this queen of pentacles okay i feel like you're you're you might have mother wounds as well something about your mother is very relevant here wow yeah with the moon being here something about your mother um that you need to address you need to look at look at your relationship with your mother 
Okay, I feel like saying you need to investigate your mother a little bit to her past, her, um, like what, what she does behind closed doors, okay? With this moon card and the queen of pentacles here, I really feel like your mom does something behind closed doors. I, you know, just take it as it resonates. Um, and I apologize if I'm overstepping my boundaries, but I feel like your mom has some secrets has has some skeletons in her closet honestly okay and and yeah something needs to be revealed to you about your mother i feel like your mother blocks you secretly um she's being deceptive and stuff um from you receiving um some information uh because she doesn't want you to know um uh, about her plans okay her past plans um might, might even be something that started when you were a child she doesn't want you to have love your mother doesn't want you to have a new beginning in love or your wishes fulfilled or you or for you to be married um and this is all uh, a secret and she secretly wants you to be in low vibrational energy because she doesn't want you to move forward she wants you to feel lonely i swear to god i don't i don't know how these cards get in the up, up in the reverse i really don't yeah she because she wants you to stay where you are she wants she doesn't want you to be in relationships okay and in the past you've had relationships come to an end because of her Okay, she wants you to be in a, in a, uh, she wants you to have fear and stress when it comes to relationships. Wow. She wants to kill your offers to like debt your, your love relationship offers, um, on purpose because she doesn't want you to have a family. She wants to trap you in this energy with her. She doesn't want you to have a new beginning. Okay, she might even be manipulating energy. Okay, take it as it resonates. I'm so sorry to hear this about your mother. But she might even be using magic to keep you conflicted in drama. Okay, or yeah, she... Oh, wow. Ace of Wands to the Five of Wands to the Queen of Wands. She has been using energy manipulation, aka spell work, to keep drama to keep drama and conflict in your life with this queen of wands okay who like i feel like in a lot of your relationships she's done this or in particular with this empress okay to to keep you wow to keep you away from your future to keep you out of this king of pentacles energy to keep you waiting yeah she's been doing this work yeah and you have been working your ass off okay to be this king of pentacles to get this large uh break this large ace of pentacles but now you have an opportunity to be this king of wands here to come up outside out of this uh financial hardship and it's all because of this queen of cups yeah this queen of cups who's nurturing kind intuitive uh, but for whatever reason, because of the relationship you were in with her, she's now the Queen of Swords where she has her guards up, okay? Uh, because of this tower moment that you had with her, all right? Something changed drastically and now uh, you're in this Five of Cups energy, a lot of grief and sadness, but your guides want you to balance yourself out in this temperance energy so that you can move to calmer waters but to do that you need to have a conversation with her on why you blocked her okay and why you blocked yourself on being successful in this relationship okay wow oh my gosh that is insane that is insane Wow, I have a really close relationship to my mom, so I can't even imagine my mom having these secret thoughts. Uh, but you need to, you need to have a conversation, okay? 
with this empress here you need to come uh, truthfully honestly it might be a long conversation here but you've been manifesting it okay you've been manifesting this change in your life and when it's it's here the opportunity is here but you're too afraid to take that step into this um upper like this you know what I'm saying? This healing journey. But you being afraid of this healing journey is keeping you from your Ten of Pentacles. It's keeping you from your God-given right to be comfortable, financially stable, have family, have generational wealth. This is the contract that you manifested, okay? Yeah, but also the guys want me to tell you that you can do anything that you put your mind to. You are a magician. You might even be a master manifester, okay? I feel like you're spiritually gifted, all right? And your guides want you to use these gifts to propel yourself forward. And this is, this is the formula. Okay, this is the way. I am so sorry about your karmic mother. However, you needed to hear that in order for you to move forward. Okay, is there anything else? Yeah, because you're really sad right now. You're sad about being away from your uh, divine partner, your divine counterpart here. And you need to... Um, you need to reconcile with this person, okay? Five of Cups, be, you being away from this person is not is not making you feel good at all. Yeah, these the, the cheating, the lies, the deceit, okay, in your marriage, they have to be brought to light, okay? Yeah, because it's, it's causing you, it, it's keeping you away from being in this King of Wands energy, somebody who's confident, bold, um secure with himself okay but instead you'd rather be in this nine of swords energy i mean i said nine of wands but i meant nine of swords energy um i really feel like you, you're up at night yeah so this queen of wands you, you want to be the king of wands queen of, and the queen of wands is your key to being financially stable here with the king of pentacles here okay you need to be somebody who's mature grounded all right and that will bring you success financial stability anything else yeah because you're attracted to this queen of wands here you're attracted to the empress but um you being away from her is causing you anxiety okay and the guides want you to uh, be strategic on how you yeah five of pentacles on how you make your way to her okay so you're gonna stay in this five of pentacles energy unless you make that move to uh come out of it because you might even be in poor health here there might be poor health here struggle bad luck okay this is all stemming from your subconscious all right you might have like a lack mentality where like you feel like you're supposed to not have happiness success love um but your guys want you to come up out of that okay and these people in your ear yeah the, these people in your ear like, you need to get them out of your ear. You need to, ugh, literally, okay, block them out, okay? And this is something that's been happening for a really long time since you were a kid. Yeah, you've been feeling this this hardship energy, this Five of Pentacles energy since you were a kid. And it's causing you to be, really, it's hurting you. It's damaging you in some way. And I really feel like uh, you're sick, okay? It's making you lonely, okay? You're also avoiding introspection here, Okay, and, and the longer the longer you wait to, uh, you know, meditate, introspect, self-reflect, uh, you need to be in solitude and stuff uh, in order to be able to listen to your inner voice. Okay, it's keeping you from having this new beginning of self-love, of, uh, you know, true love, of soulmate love. It, it's keeping you away. Okay, your inability to be alone. And um, here, I feel like... Yeah, this you could have children with this person. She could be your mom, the empress. Um, you need to have a new beginning in love with her, okay? And it starts by you being honest and telling the truth, okay? She's coming up, I mean, at you and her are coming up as the queen and king of pentacles, okay? So very stable, very stable relationship, mature. No cheating, no lying, okay? You guys are both responsible. Um, yeah, so... With the Ace of Cups here, there needs to be a new beginning. Okay, fresh start. Yeah, King of Wands energy. 
she's coming out. <laughs> wow, you guys are real soulmates. King and Queen of Wands out here. Um, you guys are both uh, attractive, confident, bold, beautiful in your purpose. All right. Um, yeah, Ace of Pentacles. This is your chance. Uh, God, she's giving you another chance. She's giving you a gift. This person is, was a gift to you. Okay. Um, you guys are coming out as counterparts, but I don't know if you're energetically, you have the potential to be energetically on the same level as soon as you come out of this, um, low vibrational energy. Okay. That you've been stuck in. Uh, listen to your intuition yeah with the moon card here okay your intuition is trying to tell you something and you have not been listening but you know it intuitively the direction that you need to go in you do know it intuitively okay the high priestess you might even be somebody who's gifted okay um, in terms of like divination and having foresight and stuff okay with the moon being here too you're somebody who is gifted but you might be blocked from your gifts at these moment at this moment because you're in low vibrational energy in order for our gifts to manifest we have to be in high vibrational energy uh nine of cups okay your your wishes are waiting to be fulfilled okay you just have to take that step in the right direction okay yeah Ace of Pentacles, you have you have a new beginning in financial prosperity here for you. As soon as you, uh, you know, stop the drama, all right, move away. Your environment is toxic right now, so you need to get away from this toxic environment, toxic people in your ear, karmics, okay, whether they're part of your family or they're part of your friend group, okay, Ten of Pentacles, that's what's waiting for you. Ace of Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles, okay. Uh, God has a lot of gifts waiting for you um, at the end of this journey. And if I were you, I wouldn't be stalling no more. Okay, ask your guides for help. <laughs> Literally, what you've been manifesting, it's just, it's been waiting to happen. Okay, it's been waiting to happen, but you need to come out uh, about of this um, negative energy. Two of Cups, your manifestation starts with you being able to... Uh, be a whole person again okay be honest mend your relationship with this empress okay two of cups be in partnership with this empress like your your contract might even be that you have to be in partnership with this empress in some way shape or form okay yeah success success is is awaiting you as well okay yeah page of swords uh, either you need to send a message to this empress or you will be receiving information that will further validate this okay whether it's that the people who are around you are no good for you or the people that you need to go towards are where you need to be headed you will um you will know i feel like maybe you already do know with this page of swords yeah you might have clarity i keep looking at this ace of swords here you have clarity if not before now you for sure do okay you're coming up as a high priestess so you have um your intuition is also telling you who is for you who is not for you okay you know this information already all right so don't just sit back and watch things happen around you your guides want you to take um they want you to take action okay you're watching this queen of cups this love interest here the empress you're watching her and, and you're in love with her you want to be with her um but all you're doing is watching her from a distance okay your guides need you to take action Yeah, you're not you're not trying to work things out with this person. So things that you are going to try to do, they're not going to work out. Nothing that you try to do is going to work out. Okay? Yeah, sorry because you're not you, you your guides are protecting you in a sense. They're protecting you because they want you to fulfill your contract, okay? So nothing that you try to do, you, you know, whatever you're distracting yourself with at this moment, um, it's not going to work, like, especially financially, because this is the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. 
nothing you try to do financially is going to work until you uh, recognize the situation for what it is begin to heal and that healing begins with you being honest with this empress okay yeah you're being blocked you're being blocked by your guides here it, it's divine intervention okay um and it's not it's not to be mean to you or anything like that but they want you to go in the right direction because you i feel like you've been wandering aimlessly <laughs> i know that seems really harsh but that's that's what they're telling me is like you've been wandering aimlessly throughout life just doing things here and there um without purpose yeah with the six of cups here it's, you've been doing this since a childhood i'm not saying you didn't make good memories but what i'm saying is that like now it's time to fulfill this contract it's time to step into who it is that you are you are the king of wands okay bold confident whole you're not you're not this uh page of wands okay that you've been settling for you're the king of wands, all right? It's time to step into that role. You've just been blocking yourself, honestly, uh, and staying in this low vibrational energy, three of swords. Anything else? Once again, they want you to move towards this uh, union, okay? Six of swords. Once you move towards, start to move towards this union by way of telling the truth, things are going to get a lot calmer for you in life. Okay, whatever turbulence you're experiencing now is definitely going to um, change once you speak your truth. Okay, because you're bored with life right now. You're, in, you're probably in regret of a lot of the things that you've done. Okay, in this situation. Um, but you have a bright future ahead of you as long as you take as long as you take action. This boredom, stagnation, um, just feeling frustrated and stuff like that's going to end once you take action to carry out your your plans of healing. OK, and your guys are going to guide you through this healing process. OK, um, you might even be sick. OK. Uh, four of swords to the tower the situation that you're in might even be making you sick and your guys want you to know that um, you're not you're not sick because yeah you're not sick because um, Because that's what they want for you but they just need you to rest like you might be using work and stuff to distract yourself but uh, you might have gotten sick um, recently all of a sudden okay might found out some news or something but um, yeah with this eight of wands eight of wands you might have received some type of information that made you sick or uh, and, and for, you might have gotten sick and then went to the doctors and find out found out why you were sick. But um, yeah, they want you to move away from this conflict drama um, that's going on in your life and have a new, fresh beginning. Okay, I also feel like somebody's somebody's playing your energy. Like I I can't get away from the fact that like they're telling me somebody's doing some type of magic or some shit like some spell work that's been done to you to make you confused on the path that you should take but um yeah somebody's somebody's trying to trap you with a child okay somebody's trying to trap you with a child but also um you need to take the path to um taking the hierophant path the the chariot path Okay, the truthful path will bring you much happiness, but somebody is definitely trying to trap you um, in a situation to keep you in low vibrational energy so that you don't start, so that you don't have this new beginning um, in love. And you might know that. I feel like you know that. That's what they're saying. And you need to block this person out. And um, it might be somebody that you're married to, but when you block this person out and fix your marriage, Wow, you got the Ten of Cups, bruh. 
Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. Okay, I think you might be seeing Ten Ten. All right, you got the Three of Wands. That that's what's waiting for you in your future. Is this major happiness, financial and emotional stability. Okay, but you have to face your fears first with this Moon card. All right, so. That was a really long reading. I hope that you stayed until the end. I hope you enjoyed it. And um, also, yeah, um, I know like healing might seem really hard because some of us have uh, some really heavy demons and some of us have done some things that we're not proud of that we'd rather repress and just push to the farthest places back in our mind and not address it however not addressing it at this point is going to be harder it's going to bring you a lifetime of burdens and financial hardship instability you're going to be meeting people who are on the same vibration as you uh, who aren't as at peace and stuff so um i guess what i'm trying to say is that like the low the road less traveled initially um might be hard to get on but once you're on it it's, it's just gonna flow okay so you have a world of happiness waiting for you and your guides want to give you that but um you're gonna have to allow them you're gonna have to allow them to um give you what you deserve what was promised to you once you go through your healing journey okay so um so yeah uh please like comment share and most importantly subscribe so that you'll know when i drop videos in the future and um just know if i if i'm reading for you if the the guides gave me this reading for you um that it, it there's there's it, it's already healing itself okay um, my guides told me that I have an energy that allows me to heal whatever reading I do for people like the it, the energy is going to be healed for you okay if I received your reading okay so I'm honored to have done this reading for you um, I'm sending you love balance okay alignment purpose all right all right and uh, I just want to say like do not worry okay this is all a simulation okay for us to reach our higher selves we're never in any real danger okay um so yeah i love you all and i appreciate you peace until next time alchemist ashay